Hi, my name is Ian Simpson and I am the host of Tokyo Real, CEO of Queen's Education and founder of the Edge Performance Analysis Solutions business. This is the first lecture in my mini lecture series where I hope to take what might be perceived as complicated business theory topics and make them simple so people like me can understand them and hopefully you'll gain something from it as well. Today I'm going to talk about the 4P process to building a successful and sustainable business. This is something that I created based on my experience, but more importantly from the people I've spoken to, successful business people over the years, uh, the people I've interviewed, and I try to take the key points of what makes them successful in their businesses. And uh, as, a, as a result, I created the 4P process. The four Ps, don't worry if you can't see the board, all the lecture notes can be sent to you um, by PDF, email, no problem there. The four Ps are passion, number one, pata patterns, I call number two, persistence, number three, and passive income, number four. In future lectures, I'm going to take out one at a time and give, devote one lecture to each section of the Ps um, and talk in more detail about it. Uh, so, first of all, today, we're going to start with number one, P, passion. Passion. It, this is so important. If you're going to build a business, build a business around your passion. Building a business is hard graft. It takes a long time. You think about it 24 seven. So if you don't like it, what you're going to do, you're not going to enjoy it much and you'll fail. So if, you're, if your mate comes up to you when you're in the pub and you're drinking beer and says, hey, I've got this great idea. We can make a killing if we do this and we do that. It's going to be easy. And you're thinking, well, hey, I don't have any core competence in that. I don't have any skills. They're putting, it's okay, we're gonna make a lot of money, it's gonna be good. Red flag, don't do it. Choose something you're passionate about. If you're young, you probably won't have a great skill set. But if you have a passion, something that gets you up in the morning, something you can't, you can't sleep at night because you're thinking about it, something when you, when you go to the office, it's more like a hobby than going to a job. That's what you should be doing because your chances of success are gonna be so much higher. So if you're young, you don't have a great skill set, go out and build a skill set around your passion. If you're older and you decide that this is the business that you want to do, then you have to go out and you have to learn new skills associated with your passion. Passionate people, you can see it in them. You can see their drive, their enthusiasm, and that becomes infectious and other people want to be associated with you. So, the second P coming up is what I call patter patterns. Patter patter, that's what babies do. They take small steps, small steps, small steps. And in your business, take small steps. Don't take giant leaps for mankind. Because often, building a business, you're gonna go two steps forward, you're gonna come one step back. And at times, you're gonna go into the wilderness when you're gonna be taking one step forward and going two steps back. And at that point, it's a lot easier to get back to base camp and regroup if you're close to base camp. If you've gone too far away from it, it's hard. It's a bit, think of it like an athlete who during a race goes into oxygen debt. Hey, there ain't no coming back from oxygen debt. For that race, he's finished. So patter patter, take small steps. This allows you to evolve with the industry or the market and, and make necessary tweaks as you're going along. It allows you to make pivots, which are bigger tweaks, as you're going along, if the market changes or the industry changes. Dream big, think small. The third, actually the second part of the second P is patterns, or what might be called systems. They can be logistical systems and people systems. Let's talk about people first. If you're going to start a business, you need at least three people. You, the entrepreneur, an admin person, and a marketing person. Now, if you're the smartest person in your business, if you're the smartest person in your business, you have a problem. Because what, what smart people do, really smart people, when they employ staff, 
A players, we call them. A players employ A players or A plus players. People who, who want to be the smartest person in their business, they employ B, B players. And so it goes down, B players employ C, C employ D, and then the D players, because they want to be the top dog, are employing E players. And at that point, it's what is known as the bozo explosion. You may as well just give up. So employ A players. And make sure you put the A players in the right positions in your company to do the job. That's your people pattern. Your, your logistical pattern is about creating systems. Remember the activities you employ in your company, the activities are the basis of your competitive advantage. So the systems you create want to have a tight fit. You want to try and create an interlocking system. Now, I'm going to talk about more, more about this in the future, in future uh, lectures that we do about um, competitive advantage and strategy. I won't get into any detail today except to say create good systems that are interlocking with a tight fit. You might think, well, why is there no product in my four Ps? Well, product's important, of course it is, but product alone isn't gonna make your business successful. There are a million and one people out there who have great ideas, great products and services, but we never hear of them. To give you an example about product, Sony in the early 80s could have developed the iPod. They had the potential to do it, but they didn't for various reasons. That's another story. 15 years later, along comes Steve Jobs, who redesigns the, the, the Sony product in his mind and beautifully manufactures it, wonderfully markets it, creates this system of Apple around it, and boom, captures the market, monopolizes the market. Sony, bye-bye. But it's all, it's all because of the system and the timing and the engineering and the product that he put together. But without all those systems and the right people in the right jobs, it wouldn't have happened. If you are gonna create a product, make sure it's unique. Number one, a purple cow. If you haven't read that book, go and read it, very good. Create a purple cow, make sure it's unique and protect it. Wrap it up with IP, with copyright, with patent, proprietary software, protect it. And remember, this is really important. It's not the product, as I just said, it's a disruptive business model that's wrapped around the product that will make it successful or not. A disruptive business model sells and makes your business successful. Again, something to talk about in the future. Let's go on to the third P, which is persistence. Perseverance. You may have all heard the story of three feet from gold. If you haven't, Google it, good story. Building a business is hard graft. Don't let anyone tell you any different. For the person who says, well, you yeah, know, I just spend two hours of my week at a computer and that earns 90% of my money. Well, maybe they do, but what they fail to tell you is it took them 10 years to get to that point or 10,000 hours to make them an expert so that they were able to do that. For the average person, any businessman, any successful business person will tell you it takes persistence. Do not give up. Continue, continue grafting away year after year. It's hard work. And in order to create sustainability in your business, you have to keep deepening your strategic position, which means make sure you keep the right people in the right jobs. Make sure your R&D are ahead of your rivals and you're continually deepening your strategic position in what you do very well, your, your niche market. Don't go off left and right at tangents, focus on your niche market and do it better than anyone else can do it. Remember, your product wants to be a purple cow. 
and you want to be swimming in a blue ocean, not a sea of red blood. The fourth P is passive income. Passive income. Systems run businesses and people run systems. If you can think that there are three kinds of people in any businesses, technicians, is managers, is entrepreneurs, and you normally start off as, as one, one of those three, but a good leader will have a, a good spread of, of skills in all three of those categories. And as you start going through your business over a period of time and, and, and developing it, there should be numerous times when you fire yourself and move on to another part of the business. Because the ultimate aim is to have an exit strategy, is have an exit point. You should always have an exit strategy from the very beginning. You should, with a timeline, when you know you're gonna get out. And if you have the good systems and the right people in the right places, then it will allow you to exit at the time that you want to. And when you exit a business, you're hopefully gonna have passive income. So with that free time, once you've exited, you can go and create another business, or you can go and lay on the beach and go surfing for five days a week if you want. But if that's what you're gonna do, remember to delegate responsibility, not abdicate responsibility. You still have to keep your finger on the pulse as to what's going on in your business. But at that point, remember the ultimate aim of any business is to create passive income from the day you walk out the door when you, at your exit point or to sell it and make a killing. Amongst other things, that's the main point of a business. And at that point, in the words of Mr. Spock, go forth and prosper. Sorry, I can't do the finger bit. And as an add-on, uh, the lecture notes, if you need them, please contact me and I can send you them uh, by PDF. And remember to subscribe to our Tokyo Real YouTube page. There's a lot of great content. It's filling up every week. And hopefully it'll help you to grow, self-develop, and to give yourself the edge. Thank you.